acquisition. This is where we take your game, QA it, play it, we give it a little review. We grade it on a pass-fail based on does it launch, the performance, the graphics, the controls, and then we talk about a, bit, a little bit about if we liked it or not. This week, we are taking a look at Raised from Warpfish Games, developed on the Unity engine. You could pick it up for about 10 of your local wet, stinky currency. What is it? Sprint through dynamic neon levels in the quickest time possible, employing skills such as super speed boost, mega jumps, drifts, stomps, and strafes to bypass obstacles and uncover shortcuts to propel yourself to the online leaderboards that no one pays attention to. Um, yeah, so uh, the devs did send us some keys for that. Thanks a lot. So let's get into it. Ven. On Ubuntu, how had this, had this shit run? Hey, man, that's dirty work. Wait, no, it's not. I run it. 1804 LTS. N none of that fancy 1810 moon magic. Over here, Ryzen 7 1700, that's what we got. Running it on a 980, that old poor crusty thing. 16 gigajoules of RAM, you know this business. Song and dance. So, does it launch? It's a Unity title. It better launch, which it did. Out of the box, no issues there. We're talking about performance at 1080p on this system. It's 60. It's 60 everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. Even if I kick it up to UHD, 3840 by 2160, still 60. That's the thing. Uh, now, with uh, something I think Pedro experienced a lot more than I did, it does have some micro stutters. That's the thing. I didn't have a problem with that earlier until I did. Uh, at UHD, definitely would drop randomly to like 40 FERPs from 60 like every five seconds i was able to resolve that by dropping to 1080 and kicking it back up to 3840 by 2160. uh as far as your graphic options it's your standard unity boilerplate but they did take the time to pretty it up a little bit that's all your options graphics look at it photons all up in my face size simplified poly graphics uh pretty colors kind of like it a little muted mm -hmm. controls steam controller out of the box again it had the correct prompts. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say a solid four-ish because I was able to basically get rid of that little micro stutter, the one that was affecting my gameplay. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 28, 64-bit uh, with the i7-6700K, the GTX 1080 Ti, yes, it absolutely does launch. Um, V-Sync seems to be forced on, and you cannot do a damn thing about it, which is why you are locked at... 50 or 60 ish for FPS for me, it was about uh, the Steam overlay FURPS counter was about uh, 58, 59, uh, but whatever. Uh, graphics wise, yeah, they show up. Um, they're very simplistic, but that's sort of the game's aesthetic. I understand what they're going for here, so that's definitely a thing. And controls, I played this with the DualShock 4, it worked. Um, I can't really ding in a chair for not having correct button prompts because Valve doesn't fucking care about that, <laughs> but um, that that that's that's about four chairs, Pedro. Yep. Uh, over here, yeah, I realize that it doesn't like to be moved to another monitor, but eh, that's just me being picky. Uh, there's also no uh, like uh, menu option for the windowed mode, but that's something you can work around if uh, need be. Uh, it uh, the performance it was locked at sixty, as uh, yeah, both Ben and Jordan already mentioned, but the um, at 1080p it was fine, it was smooth, but at 3840 by 2160, even uh, though the frame counter uh, on the Steam overlay was uh, saying that it was still at 60, there was some very obvious micro stutter to the point where it actually affected the maneuverability and the speed of your character in certain situations. So that's, that's a bit bad. Graphics, it doesn't really have any issues the sounds are there too the controls did you honestly think i wouldn't notice the lack of rebindable controls in current year argument i, I don't know man i'm just enjoying watching you eat so much shit in this game footage i mean yeah. i mean yeah <laughs> so so i mean what are you, you're playing this on like windows me right no, I'm playing this on uh, Solus with the uh, Ryzen 5 um, again, you missed 1600. It again. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> with the um, GTX 1080. So, yeah, it gets three chairs from me. <laughs> All right. How about fun, Ven? Did you enjoy a Resid? Oh, oh. Sit back, kids. We're in for a fun one. You know, it... it it immediately got me talking shit to it. And that's that, that's a good thing. I'm emotionally invested into a game. If I'm just, I, I got through a level, I finally got through a level after Groundhog Day, that shit, man. Uh, and I was like, fuck yeah. And so good on you, game. You did that. You know, then again, any game that like this with Razzed that has a quick reset button is intentionally asking for said talking of shit. So good. 
That's right, kids. We're going to talk about it, and you guessed it. It's a speedrunning game, if you haven't, if you're not watching the video. But first, we got to address the Magic Talking Shoes. They were, or kind of bizarre enough to actually get a chuckle out of me. There. Now you can't say, I didn't say anything nice about this game. The one thing, one thing you absolutely, positively have to get in a precision speedrunning game is fluid gameplay. Yeah. So much about that, uh, you seem to have cocked that up royally. You know, with the Ryzen 7 980 combo, razzed, raised, however you want to say it, uh, can't really blame the hardware on this. And especially with Jordan and Pedro with the 1080s and 1080 Ti's. Uh, I'm not running on the recommended hardware, unfortunately, which is, uh, all right, wait for it, Fedora. Yep, look at Jordan. He's squeeing right now. I love Red Hat. I've been running Fedora since core one. Hell, you could even call me a fan human. But are you fucking kidding me? Really? Fedora? Not Debian or Steamos, which would like fall in? Why not just Arch? Have it on Gentoo. Hard mode, motherfuckers. Anyway, Raz, what do you have? You got a polygon, run and jump game that has you bouncing off walls, collecting diamonds, all while getting killed to death due to RNG physics, slippery ass controls, and inconsistent frame pacing that that's what Pedro calls micro stuttering. And it's real. It will fuck with you. So at the end of the day, if you want to take that shot, Ray's is definite improvement to Outcry, the prototype that this was based on, but you can kind of fuck right off if you're calling this finished product. It's not. It's got issues. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they're going to be able to roll out a 1.1 patch. That fixes some of these things because there have definitely been times that button presses didn't register and just running doesn't feel right plus if you have like the legitimate drops down to 40 it is completely unplayable and you better be able to sort that or it's immediately going to have to get refunded yeah in its current state right now especially at the asking price of survey says 12 bucks 12 bucks uh yeah mm, keep it on your wish list keep an eye out for an update and hope it gets updated maybe some like ghost racing too that'd be nice yeah you do get a ghost it's that little uh flickery listen, thing listen, that's running beside I'm, 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 I'm tired of your ghost racism man now i see i'm one of these people who gets like really easily frustrated at games this is just a character flaw of mine i try to deal with it i try to do my best but you know sometimes i just get the angries and then i get a bit of the smashies well, fortunately i didn't get it too much with uh, this game but it was getting very very frustrating um speed running um, and like that's the thing. Spe like like uh, Ven mentioned before, speedrunning games like demand consistent gameplay, very very consistent controls, and if it's going to be physics based, consistent physics. This game does not have those at all. Um, it's kind of troubling. And and Ven corrected me earlier in the pre pre super shows, and but on the level that introduced drifting, you you're better off not using the drift mechanic. So when the in the intended uh, when the intended gameplay runs counter to the actual effective dominant strategy, you may have a little bit of a problem. Uh, and Pedro is, he's, he's going to get into this a little bit more. But yes, um, the, the acceleration is super inconsistent. There's some weird stutter, stuttery things. And, you know, sometimes you just get snagged on something that you're like, really? Really? And then you die. And God damn it, I tried. I tried and I tried and I tried and I failed and I tried and I failed and I tried and I failed. Repeat ad nauseum as for these types of games and it just it just doesn't do it for me the visual style is fine and i actually kind of dig the soundtrack uh but this bag there this bag can eat a game of dicks that's it brain <laughs> yeah um at the end of this particular video that you're watching right now i finally uh beat the third level of the second chapter i threw my hands up i flipped the sky wizard the bird and i promptly hit alt f4 because I was done. At 65 minutes of game time, I was just fucking done. Done with the micro stutters, which caused me to run off platforms um, all the damn time. Uh, I'm done with the crapshoot physics, which sometimes will make you slow down to a crawl when you land, and others won't affect the speed at all. So that's a crapshoot. I'm done with the randomly dying because I got a femtometer too close to one of the random hazards. Uh, it's Games like these, like Ven already mentioned, it, they need that sense of fluidity and consistency. Uh, we threw chairs at distance last week, and that's, I guess, the perfect comparison, because for all its flaws, it does exactly what this game is attempting to do, but in a fluid and consistent way. 
I didn't mind the uh, random physics fuck-ups as much in distance because everything else was consistent and even the fuck-ups were consistent. They were actively reproducible. So you can't have that in... Uh, if you don't have that in your game, if you don't have something that's consistent and reproducible, your game is not going to get a good score, especially if you're going for the speedrunning competitive thing like this one is. Yeah, it's just not fun mm -mm -mm. no it's yeah. not get we can you give it a score man yeah it's uh one chair <laughs> all right well that does it for raised technically all right gameplay wise eh. uh do you got any final thoughts before we get out of here there's a lot to be done i mean especially if you want to come back and touch on the physics aspects because in something like this we, we get to compare it to like speed runners and mm -hmm. if with just the mechanics of sliding around, jumping, and all that, if the game is going to fuck you, you want to make sure that it's you can work with it, that you have consistency, consistency in the getting fucked. You don't have it in this, because you can repeat the same action twice with different results, and that's not fun. You can't. You can have janky physics, but they have to be reliable. It, it's just not here. That needs to be sorted. Yep. Ta-da! Somebody who's not a game develop developer saying something about a video game. Yeah! <laughs> <Your scraps. laughs> wah, wah.